In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you something unique slide uh, with the help of the morph transition. As you can see here, I've put the text a morning coffee with the shadow effect and here I've added a coffee cup which is uh, empty here. You can see here and I've put the text as off and I've added some shadow effect. So what happens when I click the cup moves to the other side uh, with the coffee and it turns the text with the on. So when I click here, you can see here it moves something like this and says that it's on and it says good morning. So you can use this slide for a variety of reasons. For example, if you are giving in a training or a workshop and it's a time for a coffee break, you can just simply say coffee break and off. And when I click, it's on here. So a lot of varieties you can use this slide for. Add a new slide and change the background to any bright color background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the rectangle. I'm going to select the second one, which is rectangle rounded corners, draw a rectangle, maybe this much size or depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease and you can see the small orange point. I'm just going to drag this inside so it gets a full curved shape shape outline you can make it a white color and you can increase the weight you can see here you can increase something like this and shape fill you can give any different color maybe some color something like this now i'm going to draw a coffee a cup with a saucer for that i need to go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect circle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some light gray color or we can change it later stage also then right mouse click go to format shape and go to the effects under 3d format i'm going to choose the bevel this one which is the soft rounded and I'm just going to increase this one you can see here maybe I can make it 25 and this one I'm going to just reduce it to 2.5 so this is my uh, the saucer and then I'm just going to add the cup go to shapes select the oval shape again again draw a small oval shape maybe this much size you can see here shape outline you can make it no outline shape fill you can make it white and then for this i'm going to give a shadow effect which is maybe this one and increase the distance you can see here so it should look like an empty cup and you can increase the blur size all right then i'm just going to put it here if it is not visible then what i can do is maybe i can just change the color of this maybe somewhat darker color and this one i'm just going to paste it here you can see something like this and again to uh, to differentiate that there is a cup here i'm going to add some shadow effort go to insert shapes select the sh uh, oval shape shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency level go to the effects and under soft adjust i'm going to just increase the soft edges you can see here bring it here and then just send this to back so you can see here the shadow effect has been created and i'm going to add one small shape maybe i'm going to select this one and draw it a small one you can see here i can make it fully curved shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it white let me just zoom in and then i'm just going to bend something like this and reduce the size so that this is the coffee this one and maybe you can just add some outline also for this you can see here if you add outline it looks more uh, natural so you can see here so it looks more natural something like this so this is my coffee uh, cup ready the empty one so i'm just going to select this and bring it here you can see here something like this let me just give a shadow effect for this saucer also i'm just going to increase the shadow effect i'm going to select maybe this one you can see here i can increase the shadow effect so it looks more natural then i'm going to add one text here go to insert 
text for example before the coffee say my mood is off i'm just going to say off and you can give a uh, maybe a black or any other color and choose some nice fonts okay and then increase the size and then i'm just going to put it here all right you can see here something like this make it bold also and if you want you can further increase and maybe i'm going to make it a white font here okay so something like this and then if you want to give some shadow effect also you can give go to insert shapes select the rectangle again fill it with black shape outline make it no outline and transparency increase it and go to the soft edges and increase the size you can see here and then i'm just going to bring it here turn a little bit and then send this to back so you can see the shadow effect created here now if you want you can just add some heading here i can just say that morning coffee i hope the spelling is right again white i'm going to make it roboto center align increase the size you can see here and if you want to give some shadow effect also i can do it press ctrl d reduce the size make it a black font go to the text options increase the transparency and bring it here and send this to back so you can see here it got a, a shadow effect also something like this let me just remove the guides here okay now i'm going to fill the coffee but not in this uh, slide i'm going to add one more slide so i'm going to select this slide right mouse click say duplicate slide all right and then what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this and bring it here the other end you can see here and the shadow i'm going to bring the other side now all right so i'm just going to place it something like this here and this one from off i'm going to make it on all right and here the color i'm going to change it so that it looks more some nice colors you can just choose it whichever color you feel better so i've just chosen this color let me just put it in the center so you can see here the one slide i have put uh, empty cup the with the, some different very light color with the text off and here i've just put on with some different color and the shadow i have bring to the other side now it's time to fill the cup with the coffee so let me just zoom in all right and go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape you can see here so that it covers the whole coffee cup all right you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can choose some dark coffee color all right you can see here something like this and i'm going to add one more shape press ctrl d to duplicate this one and here i'm going to select the gradient fill gradient fill what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the type as radial direction from center let me just keep it only two so one place the other place i'm going to give some color something like this you can see here and here this one i'm going to make it transparent and bring it here more something like this you can see here and just put it here so you get a effect something like this you can see here let me just move it all right so you got a coffee shape and if you want to add some more things on top of this you can add it so you can see here here there is no coffee and here it is with coffee effect so it's time to give the transition effect for the second slide only so i have to go to the transitions and select the morph transition so you can see here it looks something like this but what i need to do here is here the the cup is empty and but here the it is with coffee so what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this 
only the this uh, particular uh, details okay press ctrl g to group it and i'm going to home tab select selection pane and i'm going to give as a coffee cup with the two exclamation mark at the beginning i can just say c o f f e e coffee cup you can see here and then i'm just going to select this control c then i'm going to the other slide i'm going to select this also press control g and here also i'm going to give the same name where i have copied okay see here so now if i play the slide you can see here it comes something like this all right and for this text also i'm going to give the same thing i'm going to say this as exclamation exclamation text you can see here control c go to the side and here also i'm just going to make it the same name so if i play now it comes something like this you can see here on and off 